What's going on guys? Uh, happy Friday. First I want to say thank you so much to all of my subscribers. We've surpassed 400. I think we're at 402 now. That's uh, that's amazing to me man that uh, enough people out there actually want to watch the stuff that I'm putting out and uh, you know think that it's interesting enough to subscribe to this channel. But um, anyway uh, I'm going to get to the electric fan video. I want to show you the fans that I purchased for this uh, C3 and what we're going to be putting on there and uh, kind of go through the process and my mindset on it. So uh, stay tuned. All right, y'all, there are the fans that I'm using. Um, they are TYC brand. And here's a little shot of the part number, 622210. I believe that's the part number. I'll put a picture of the label on the at the end of the video. Uh, these fans actually came, are factory for a 2010 Silverado HD. Um, they have a nine blade fan instead of the standard six, I think is what is standard. So they should move uh, a little more CFM. And uh, my truck already has the 34 inch radiator, so I don't have to worry about converting the radiator over. Uh, these should uh, bolt right up. And I also got the Nelson Performance wiring harness, and I opted to have the in cabin or in cab trigger wire on it, so I can turn the fans on low um, whenever I want without the computer telling them to kick on. Um, I think these fans ran 188 bucks through PartsGeek.com plus shipping, and I believe the harness was 130 plus five for the uh, in cab trigger. Uh, all in all, I'm into this for about 380 bucks, and I know there's cheaper ways to do it with going to a wrecking yard and pulling the fans and pulling the relays, but I really wanted to have brand new fans, brand new wiring, and I didn't have to worry about them going out or whatever. But um, anyways, guys, I'm going to put these things on, and I don't really plan on doing a step-by-step -step video on it because there's just short of 10,000 of uh, the videos already out there on YouTube. But uh, I might give you some highlights as I'm installing them, maybe some troubleshooting if I run into any, and that way it'll help people along the way. But if you're interested in seeing a step-by-step -step video, Dell guy, <laughs> you know who you are, uh, wanting to see me get dirty working on this truck, um, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Pretty hard to shoot it holding an iPhone and working because I'm doing this by myself. But anyways, brother, man, I appreciate you guys' support, like I said at the beginning of this video, and uh, let's get these babies mounted. See you soon.